It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see a brawl inside the AFC West. It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the Los Angeles Chargers, next on Madden Football. Southern California has a new modern home for NFL football, and it is this place, wondrous SoFi Stadium here in Inglewood. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here, as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the L.A. Chargers. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and C.D., we've got an AFC West battle ahead. And this is a division where, I mean, let's face it, the Chiefs are going to be the favorites and well-deserved after the Super Bowl win last February. But we've got three other teams in the mix with potential high ceilings. Would you agree? Absolutely would agree because we've been waiting for the Los Angeles Chargers to make that kicker that's Cameron Dicker set to get us started and we are underway in Southern California and makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23 yard line well, the Chiefs offense now ready to go to work for the first time led by Patrick Mahomes the 2018 NFL most valuable player there's nothing the league's best quarterback didn't achieve last season Super Bowl trophy check MVP award check League leader in yards and touchdowns, check. How does he top the season he had last year? I don't know. But Patrick Mahomes, he usually finds a way. Right to the air is Mahomes. He'll get this complete to Kadarius Tony. 19 yards right off the bat and a quick first down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. Well, the first drive here and the first time that we've called a big tight end's name, but I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that'll draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers are getting involved as this game goes on. Well, no hesitations, they go right back to Kelsey. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical that it'd be this easy, but they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. Mahomes now on first down. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, and sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled. Well prepared and excited to start this game. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Now it's Mahomes again. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's James. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far in the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. On the ground, it's Gray. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Noah Gray. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs are on the board first here this afternoon. 
That's just a solid, methodical drive to start this game. And how about how it culminated? Doing exactly what they wanted to do, getting the ball downfield, and then running it into the end zone. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in, that hurts a defense psychologically a heck of a lot more. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. So the Charger offense making its way out, and at the controls is the league's second leading passer a year ago. At 25 years of age, out of Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. The Chargers just continue to improve and take steps forward under the quiet leadership of Herbert who's been the most productive quarterback in league history through his first three seasons. Over 4,700 yards last year, he's expecting to crack the 5,000-yard mark in this season. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Now their versatile running back, here's Austin Eckler. And he's gonna take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Eckler going to get it again on second down. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a charger first. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle, doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Control the line of scrimmage, created a big game. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash too. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right, they did something to disrupt that timing. Here now is second and 10, again for the 41. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. Five yards, now it's third and five. A quick burst there and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. That's going to be complete to his tight end over. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 29-yard line. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. They brought in a heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting it for a first down. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory as they're down to the 29-yard line. Eckler now between the tackles. Trucks over him. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. 42 yards rushing so far, and this is just their first possession. And they've got a new set of downs here. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. And did he get the feet down? Yes, touchdown! Mike Williams, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Chargers are able to match the opening drive touchdown against him with one of their own. Oh, 
such great concentration there, going right up against the side of the end zone, but able to get the feet in bounds. There are so many things that go into that catch, and you just mentioned the concentration, being able to catch the football, get your feet down in bounds, hang on to it all the way through the process of the catch. That was a phenomenal play. Extra point up and good by Dicker, and we are tied at seven. So this drive spans seven plays. And in the end, it was Mike Williams who capped the drive with a touchdown reception. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive. And they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. That'll be caught. It's Tony. 23 yards to pick up there. So Patrick Mahomes, guys, he's playing at such an elite level. Defensively, coming into a game like this, Charles, what, <laughs> it's got to be a lot of things, but what worries you the most? I think you're exactly right about that. The list is extensive about what worries you. The way he can move, make completions on the run, the way he can throw against his body, heck, make left-handed throws, you name it, he gets it done. The biggest thing, though, is once he gets into rhythm, trying to get his timing chipped away, trying to stop that, that is really difficult to do. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter. From the 35, here's second down and one. They'll swing this out to Tony. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Again, it's Mahomes. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantling. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 26-yard line. Working with a second and four. They run with the second-year man, Isaiah Pacheco. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. On first down, they go back to Pacheco. Asante Samuel able to make the play defensively. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. A second and seven with our score tied at seven, but they're planning to change that soon. Only question, will they get three or six out of it? Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. 
to throw. It's Mahomes. And he's going to go down. He sacked back in the 24. That's sacked by Khalil Mack. So this defense, they gave up some yards on this drive. The bottom line, they came up with a sack when it mattered. And we know that every down counts, but let's be honest about it. People focus on third down as a real key down in any drive, any situation. And they took full advantage of third down there and made a play. So on fourth down, Mahomes off. Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. And this one, a 41-yard attempt. Butker's kick here is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one-possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. On first and ten, Herbert. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Here's Herbert. Got an open man, it's Josh Palmer. That one covers 24 yards, it's a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. On first down, it's Herbert. And this is caught by Williams. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never walk in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory, down at the 31. Herbert's throw going into the hands of Williams. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Herbert operating from the red zone. Josh Palmer from 13 yards out. And the Chargers have taken the lead. Well, that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open in the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Here's 
Chris Dicker now as he'll send this one away. Now Isaiah Pacheco going to bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And out come the Chiefs now. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you think you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Mahomes now on first down. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Here's Mahomes to throw. To Valdez Scantling over the middle. Mahomes to MVS there for the Kansas City first. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Mahomes going to throw. Finding Gray on the out route. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it. And that's going to bring up second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. The Chiefs will try and get to the line quickly. Mahomes to throw on second down. And this one is going to be off the mark. Too far out in front. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Mahomes to throw once more. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. So instead of fourth down, first down. Well, so much for winning the down, you put a lot of emphasis on because third down is key for offense and defense. Instead, you're going to stay on the field and start a new set of downs. From midfield, here's Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now Mahomes. Open on the left side. This is Valdez Scantling. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 37. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. Throw left side complete. That's James. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll make it second down. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Second down at four. Mahomes now to throw. This one to the right, caught by Valdez Scantling. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. 
A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. He'll drop this off to Pacheco. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now it's Mahomes again. That's complete to Tony. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal as the tackle made at the 10-yard line. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Butker's kick here is good. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So yes, they'll still be down going into intermission, but the deficit is now made even smaller, very manageable. Yeah, and if nothing haywire happens here in his last couple of precious seconds, they will go into the locker room with a nice bounce in their step, having gotten a little bit closer on the scoreboard. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And now off to the races, down the right side. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Chargers. Such an electric play. So much fun to watch. And you need all 11 guys in sync for that to be successful, don't you? Without a doubt. That's, that's teamwork, to be able to put it all together. But that play is really probably the most exciting 10 seconds in football. Dicker now to tack on the extra point. And with that, the lead is up to eight. So we have reached halftime here in what's an eight-point game. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's gonna be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. Okay, coach, appreciate it. A one touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. And we will not have a run back here as the second half starts with a touchback. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well and most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Yeah, he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. 
The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. Second and six, just inside the 30. Now a toss, running left, Eckler. And he'll earn a couple of tough yards past the 30 to the 31. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun, Herbert on third down. He'll get this to Eckler. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That's a gain of nearly 40 yards on third and medium to pick up the first. This play is a thing of beauty when it works as designed because they let the running back slip out of the backfield and head down the sideline on a wheel route. Number one, it's easy for him to get lost. And number two, really tough for the linebacker to run with him. And this ball's right on the money and leads to a big play. On first down, Justin Herbert. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Herbert. On the screen, this is Eckler. And his bid for the first down coming up short as he's tackled at the 25. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. And his kick is gone. And the lead now 11, 24 to 13. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. Dicker field goal. He's back out, ready to send it away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get involved in the end zone. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. To the right side, it's Kelsey. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down, fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. A man who re-signed with the Chiefs back in May. Here's Jarek McKinnon. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, 
everyone's going to want to touch the football. It'll be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. On second down, here's Mahomes. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 40. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 right at the 40. Now here's Mahomes. That'll be caught. It's Tony. The end result, 21 yards. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. This is caught. And the Chiefs are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run here with Pacheco. And he will take it off. Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco taking it in from two yards out. And the Chiefs have got it back to within a score. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in, have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You, you establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst, and if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. L.A. set to take over again on offense. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, <laughs> right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. Open man is Palmer. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Justin Herbert looking to pass. That's going to be complete to his tight end, Everett. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Oh, 
On first and ten, Herbert looking for Allen. He's got him on the slam. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. The throw over the middle, taken in. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Again, Herbert. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Nick Bolton. And the Chiefs are right back in this football game. A seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people are going to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the call. And in this case, those defenders found a way to give their team a chance. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. The interception sets them up with an opportunity to erase this fourth quarter deficit. Now this series could very well determine our outcome. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. The coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? From the 46, here's second and a yard. Now Mahomes. They'll check this one down to Pacheco. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And it's third and four now. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Man open, it's Tony. He's got it. On the move past the 40. And finally down at the 32-yard line. A big play that time on the catch and run. And the Chiefs are going to get a fresh set of downs. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 32-yard line. To throw, it's Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. A good position to be in here, second and in inches. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He finds McKinnon, complete. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time, he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing now is Mahomes. Caught Kelsey, left side. 
And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. On first and ten, here's Pacheco. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. It's larger than the air attack that's gotten him down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on first and goal. Second and goal from the one. Working from the gun, Mahomes to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, no one likes to see that drop, but I guarantee it's not going to stop his quarterback from going back to him any time he has open space. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Here's Mahomes to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, they've been targeted quite a bit on this drive, and finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They saw the double coverage on it, made it very tough for him to get the ball. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. On the run, this is Gray, and he's not going to get in. They stop him at the one. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the Chargers hold tight down near the goal line. And defensively, they were ready for that. A full-on blitz on fourth down, and they stop them short of the marker. Oh, and someone's got to feel really good about that, and that's the defensive coordinator. He dialed up a great run blitz defense, and they hit it just right. Stack that thing up. They're going to feel awesome going to the bench after that big play. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. But right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. On second down, Eckler. And he'll get it up to the 12-yard line here. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount. He got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. It's Eckler again. And this may be a carbon copy as he'll again be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Herbert. And Allen's got it. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Get 
And they'll indeed take a knee. the middle with Eckler and he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say guess what you drop this one you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. Maybe flashback to high school or college carrying <laughs> it around campus right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill right anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach he's in big trouble. Here's J.K. Scott now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. On the return, it's Tony. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort. That was good, very good in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall.